Hey everyone! Hello! Today we are going to be doing our super fantastic merch haul from our staycation. I'm really excited. We got some fun stuff this time. Yeah, well, I think we always get some fun stuff. Yeah, we but did. We did go a little crazy this trip. Yeah, maybe too crazy. Who yeah. knows? <laughs> That's okay. Um, as you can see, the first merch of our merch haul is our Mickey tie dye shirts that we did at Caribbean Beach. I think they look so cute. I've been wearing mine all the time. I love it. For some reason, my Mickey is a lot fatter than yours. I just realized yeah, yours is like very skinny circle and mine is like a very right. big circle. Well, and like mine kind of like bled a little bit and I just didn't get very concentrated. It so cool, I though. think my colors are a little lighter than Zoe's. Zoe's are more darker, like prominent, but they look a lot of fun. Yeah, I really like it a lot. Um, it turned out good. And like we said in our video, they were $17.04 after like taxes or basically that's what it came out to. Mm -hmm. And I think for not only just a shirt, but a shirt that you made yourself and is unique to your resort and yeah like mickey it's i think so it was really really fun and yeah. definitely worth the price i think so too i really love these shirts moving on to stuff from magic kingdom all right let's pull it out of here we got the bag of goodies yeah probably should have separated in a couple different bags that's okay. but that's okay here's number one and number two all right here you go trade around okay you show you show number one Number one, you guys already know because he was featured in our vlogs. It's my piglet <laughs> Nuimo. He's so cute. I still haven't found an outfit for him. I've looked everywhere and they just don't have one that I want to buy. But hopefully they'll come out with a new outfit soon so yeah. he can have a little outfit. He is really, really fun. He's uh, way fun. He's like our new channel mascot. Yeah, so. <laughs> and I love him. He's got like magnets so he can like hang on to stuff. He's really a lot of fun. Yeah, we had a lot of fun taking different pictures of him. Yeah. And then for my backpack, I got a Sorcerer Mickey keychain. <laughs> he's so cute. So he's like a really ginormous head and then a really small body. Um, I absolutely love him. He's very and fun. It's just a lot of fun to hang off my backpack. Yeah, he's really cute. I like him a lot. All right, what's next? Um, Animal Kingdom would be the next day. Okay, I think we only got one thing at Animal yes. Kingdom. Um, we actually tried to find this at Magic Kingdom but we were able to find it at Animal Kingdom. And it is this really cool shirt that I got. Yeah. I love this shirt so much. It has all four of the park icons and then a giant Mickey with some fireworks. Um, it really is just a lot of fun. Yeah, I really like this shirt a lot. I'm glad we were able to find it for you. Yeah, um, I wear an extra large because a lot of these t-shirts are 100% cotton and they do shrink. Yeah. So that's like gonna be my tip for you guys, if you Typically wear like a large or you know, whatever you're looking for make sure that you check the Like the material because if it is a hundred percent cotton it will shrink so Usually, I always recommend yeah. getting a size up Yeah, um, so that's why I always look for extra larges they after they shrink they fit me perfectly And I don't really have to worry about like oh my gosh that shirt's so tight. Yeah, yeah <laughs> so I do have some shirts that are larges that they seem to fit okay, but they're still just a little snug Um, I would more prefer an extra large I think yeah. after it shrinks. So. I just realized the cake is up there. Oh we'll have to get it. We'll have to grab it. Okay, next. Well where did we get this? I don't really know. Okay guys. Who's the <laughs> same? Really we got it at the resort. Is this popcorn bucket? It's so much fun. It's so cute. It's like a Mickey balloon and it has Mickey balloons on the strap. It's very fun. It's our first popcorn bucket. Yeah. Well, they actually were selling this popcorn bucket at Epcot yeah. for $18. Mm -hmm. However, we saw this just sitting by the garbage can at our resort. Yeah. And it sat there like a long time. Yeah. We were like keeping our eye on it. Like, is someone coming back for this or did they just like leave it by the trash because they couldn't fit it in the trash yeah. can, but like they were throwing it away? So. so we waited and waited and waited and nobody came and picked it up so we finally <laughs> decided okay we picked it up we oh, man. we are really guessing and i'm i'm sure like it was there for a while that people had just left it there that they were like well we don't want to throw this away it doesn't fit in our luggage we don't want to take it home with us but we just feel like maybe if we set it here someone will pick it up that's so. that's what we're hoping at least there was two of them sitting by the garbage can like just sitting there so we're and like they were there for like really a long time yeah so we're like okay <laughs> we're just gonna pick this up and then we washed it we put it through the dishwasher so it is sanitized and ready to go but we loved it and we just saw it sitting by the trash we're like we can't just leave it there yeah he needed to come home so <laughs> it was so cute so we got a little popcorn bucket for free 
This is from Topolino's. It's just like a little fun picture of all of the characters in their Topolino's outfits and it's just like a little postcard. Mm -hmm. And then because they can't do autographs right now during character breakfasts, it just has all their autographs on the back. It says Topolino's Terrace, um, like the breakfast uh, the Riviera. So I just think this was really cool for those that enjoy um, like getting autographs that yeah. they are still like handing stuff like this out even though the characters can't actually come and say yeah. autograph. Yeah, it's really fun. Um, the other thing that we have is our Fantasia Gardens. It's just like our little scorecard. And we usually hang on to these. We have the other one that we did when we went and did the gardens course, but yeah. this is our fairways course. Um, we actually keep a lot of these scorecards that we have. Yeah. We have them just from like different various states that we've taken at other golf courses. Yeah. We spent an anniversary this last year at a golf course, so we have like that. We just kind of keep them as little keepsakes. Next up. We got this magnet to commemorate our time. Yeah, we're gonna have to probably cover beach. our faces on this. So it's got Mickey in his little hammock. He's drinking his little pineapple drink and it's so cute. And then it just says Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. So we just decided to go with a magnet to remember our trip. Next up, we got some pins oh, yeah. from my pin trading. I didn't find a lot of pin trading this trip. I only found pins at Animal Kingdom. That was the Animal only place Kingdom. I saw any pins. Animal Kingdom really has the best pins though. They really do. Like they have multiple stations and mm -hmm. they're pretty big boards. But all the other parks I could not find pins. Like yeah. anywhere. It was very weird. But I got this little pin right here. Alright. It's a Duffy Sultan. It's so cute. I have the collection of these Duffies wearing different hats. And this was the last one I needed to complete the set. So I found him at Animal Kingdom and my set is now complete. I was so excited. This is one of my favorite Ooh. pin sets that we have. Yeah, it's really fun. It has like Duffy and like a Peter Pan hat, yeah. a Dumbo hat, like a Captain, Captain Hook. Hook. So that one's a lot of fun. I'm glad I found him. And I also got Winnie the Pooh and Piglet as an ice cream cone. I've never seen any pins like this before, but I just thought it was so cute. So I had to grab this one. Uh, yeah, I love it. It's Winnie the Pooh and ice cream. So where could you go wrong? You really can't go wrong. That's like <laughs> two of our favorite things. Yeah. So this is what we got from Beaches and Cream. It's so cute. We ate our sundae out of this and it was mm -hmm. a huge sundae, but it was so good. It was so good. It was a lot of fun and I want to go back there like I every know. day now. Seriously, that place is delicious. So if you guys are planning a trip, make sure you get some reservations because they do fill up quick. But I didn't totally even know that they it. took reservations. But when we were planning for this trip, we could not get any reservations. Yeah. So we finally got one. We were like, yes. Yeah. And we were just like clicking, it worked out clicking, perfectly. clicking. Yeah. So it's really funny. Like these little hands move. Like turn on the hot and cold water. You can move the little faucet. Like little sink around. It's just very a fun cute. little trinket. Okay. This was definitely the most expensive purchase I think we've ever made at a Disney park. Yeah, I do think, actually, I think it is. I don't think we've ever th bought anything yeah. like this. So, if you wouldn't mind, if you want to hand me mine. Here it is, the most expensive thing. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> no. Not quite that. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm hiding it from the view. I think they already know what it is. <laughs> if you guys saw our vlogs, then you did see that we went to Sabi's workshop. And it was we so got awesome. a custom-built lightsaber. That experience was so incredible. It was I, so cool. I really nerded out. I'm not I did too, lie. and it I was, was, I was so just like standing fun. there watching, and I was like, oh, wow. Yeah, so the cool thing about getting or building the lightsaber is, yes, it is a little pricey, but if you love Star Wars and you want a nice like souvenir mm -hmm. from Galaxy's Edge, the lightsabers are incredible. They yeah. are heavy duty, like they are actual metal. They're so, they're heavy. They're like so you intricate. It. Like, it's yeah. It's crazy. So, when you build your custom lightsaber at Savi, you do get this awesome carrying case. And this one is just exclusive to Savi's workshop. They do have yeah. other carrying cases that you can purchase at Galaxy's Edge, but this one's just exclusive to that. The next thing, you get a little pin. Not sure if that's completely focused, but. That's probably as good as we're gonna get it for now. It is yeah. pretty shiny, but it's just a cool little pin that again is exclusive to Savi's workshop and it's correlated with what um, like style of hilt you wanted to build. Mm -hmm. So I went with um, Peace and Justice is the 
collection, I guess. Yeah. That's what I went with. The guy that was in there who was like doing the whole like experience was like, ah, oh, that's a true Jedi. Yeah. Like a, that's a Jedi style. It was really so, cool. It was really cool. So this is my lightsaber. Um, again, it was a lot of fun to build. Uh, you really just kind of build it yourself and you get a couple different options to choose from depending on what like hilt style you want to build. Um, I think it would be really cool though if multiple people in your family or I guess if we both built one, right. we could interchange styles of hilts. Ooh, like half and half. So that would be kind of cool. But I went with, oh sorry. Okay, I'm like, whoa. <laughs> I went with a blue blade. Um, not sure if it's gonna show Again. up that well in the camera. It looks white. The true Jedi. <laughs> but I feel like it's kind of just casting like a bluish light on our faces, so maybe they yeah. can tell that it's blue. It is blue. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, obviously we have the lights, but I think we'll kind of show you guys a little bit more about this because I went ahead and bought a kyber crystal. Mm -hmm. I really wanted my blade to be yellow, um, so I bought a yellow kyber crystal. So I'm gonna show you guys, um, after we're done showing everything that we got, just kind of like a really quick, like taking the lightsaber apart, inserting a new crystal, and how that all works. It's actually really easy. And, it's, and cool. it's really cool. These Kyber crystals are only $15. Mm -hmm. So after you purchase the lightsaber, you really could spend additional money and get all of the Kyber crystals. Yeah. And change the color. I think you'd only be in it. I, I hate to say it, but like another 60 to $75. Yeah, I think I $15 see. for a Kyber crystal to change the effects of the lightsaber is really worth it. It also changes the sound, which we'll show you later, which is also really, really cool. Really cool. Not just the color, but it changes the way that it sounds. Yeah. So. All right. Now it is the final thing that we got. Oh no, it's not the final thing that we got. It's not? I forgot about something, but sorry. Um, what did you forget? Because I don't know what you're talking about. Our mugs. <gasps> no, the mugs. You have course. to show the mugs. That was actually the first thing we bought. Yeah. When we were on vacation. So. All right. Now I'll show you guys my pride and joy. It comes in this awesome box and it has like that little Jedi symbol on the front. And then let me hold it up so I there can kind of like, yeah. So then you just like click this little button and whoa, the box open and it's on like a little pillow. <laughs> and just by looking at it, can anybody guess? Comment down below if you know what lightsaber this is. Yeah, this is one of the legacy lightsabers. So this is a, an actual character from Star Wars lightsaber. So comment down below before I tell you who it is. All right, guys. What All did right. you get? I hope some of you got it right. I'll show you the hilt a little closer up. This is Ben Solo's lightsaber. So this was his lightsaber before he turned to the dark side and you know, turned into Kylo Ren. So this is the exact same lightsaber as the Kylo Ren saber. He took this hilt and changed it and kind of like rewired it and added like the two blades. So this was like the original lightsaber that he owned, which yeah. was so cool. Um. With this, it does come with a belt clip and this like display case or like display box. Yeah. And then um, you, with any of the legacy lightsabers, you do have to purchase the blade separately. Yeah. And there is like a little stopper on the inside to just kind of protect the inside of the lightsaber when you're displaying the hilt. And all you have to do is twist it in. And there it is. And with these, you don't get to choose the color of the blade. Like whoever you yes. buy, you just get their color. Um, and you can't change the color of the blade at all, yeah, so you which, can't change kyber crystals. I didn't know that until we were buying this that right. you couldn't change kyber crystals on the legacy sabers, yeah. which makes sense to me because you it's that person, it's that person's. They don't want to like have you have the hilt and then alter that. So, anyway, so here it is in all its glory, it's very huge. Yeah, the crazy thing about this, are you gonna start it up? Yeah, I'll start it up. So, this sounds different than my blue kyber crystal does in yeah. my lightsaber. So I don't know if it's because it is a specific character's, this is Ben Solo's, if his lightsaber maybe sounded different than say like Luke's lightsaber. Yeah. So that sound is like specific to him, I don't know. I really want to get, it's, it's one of those things like you'd have to purchase another blue lightsaber. So if like we bought Obi-Wan Kenobi's lightsaber, we could compare the sounds to that and, and his and mine and see if they're all different sounding. Right. Or if like, Kylo Ren specifically is a little bit different than the other blue crystals. I don't know. But if you listen to my lightsaber. And then listen to Zoe's lightsaber. 
like you can already it's There's completely a difference. different yeah like if we both like lit them up at the same time they both Here's, have yeah. a very distinct like turning on and turning off and different like sounds right. so i thought that was really cool yeah the last thing that we got um of course was our or the first thing that we got yeah. was our mugs the first thing that we got was of course our souvenir refillable mugs guys these are so worth it i cannot say that or stress that enough these were 19.99 so mm -hmm. 20 dollars i'm embarrassed to say i had 24 cherry cokes when we were on staycation he literally only drank cherry, cherry coke like the yeah. whole time i think i had like you had 17 17 refills i yeah. had sweet tea i had powerade i had like i had all stuff. kinds of stuff but if you think about it drinks at disney are usually 350 to 450 yeah, if not like five dollars so, sometimes. Really, if you only have five to six drinks, you pay it off within that. Yeah. So then you have just the cup and you didn't even pay for the cup because you were just paying for the drinks. Yeah. Definitely worth it if you're planning on doing a couple of resort days or if you're gonna come home and eat dinner at your resort. Yeah. Um, I def I know we saved money using yeah, these. Yeah, I um, love it. Plus, and plus they're it's really so fun cool. and you can take it home. Yeah, we did show these a little bit um, already, but I'll just kind of give it a quick kind of glance. Um, mine is Mickey. It does have a couple minis on there. My favorite one is this guy right here. Um, he's just by Space Mountain. It has like a little um, like space helmet. Um, a lot of fun. There's Pluto on here, Mickey Mouse Club, and a Mickey Waffle and Mickey Premium Bar. So I love this one. Um, definitely I'm all about Mickey. So. <laughs> I went with this one, mostly because of the pink handle, but also because I love Lightning McQueen, and it had the castle, it has a giraffe for Animal Kingdom, it has the Hollywood Studios main gates, a giant Buzz Lightyear, which is very cute, and then over here it's got some more Pixar characters, the alien, and then Spaceship Earth. So I thought this one was a lot of fun because not only is it Pixar, but it does have the four park icons as well. Yeah. which. I was like, oh yeah, that yeah. does suit you. Um, but yeah, overall, I think we had such a fantastic trip. I can't stress that enough. Um, it was just very relaxing for us, it I was think, so fun. because we just did Disney. We weren't worried yeah. about. I think the like previous trips that we've taken, we've been worrying about going to the outlets because we don't live here and going to Universal and all that kind of stuff. And even Disney Springs. That's we didn't true. go to Disney Springs at all because now we can go there anytime. So it was yeah. very nice. Um, it was fantastic. Yeah, it was a fantastic trip. Um, it really was just such a fun time. Yeah. And we got some fun stuff. So yeah. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this fun stuff. I did promise that I would show you guys the lightsaber. So I'm going to turn off some lights here and I'll have Zoe just flip the camera around and we'll go from there. Okay, so here is the lightsaber. So this, you can now tell that it's a little bit blue. I'll grab yeah. Zoe's too just so you can kind of see. They are the exact same color blue. There's no difference between those really, but the sounds are different. Anyway, but I'm gonna take this apart really quick and just show you how easy and simple it is. Um, sorry about the mess too, by the way. Um, we've got souvenirs all over the place. <laughs> and we had a birthday party and it's, yeah, it's been crazy. Yeah, it has. Um, so all you have to do is just twist the blade and it's gonna make a sound. You just pull the blade out. Super fun, super easy. Um, and then all of the parts on this lightsaber just screw out, which that's why I was saying when you like have, if you build multiple, you could just unscrew the different parts. All the parts are going to link together regardless of style. So then you just take the switch chamber out or the switch plates and you have the fiber crystal. It lights up blue around here to show you what color fiber crystal you have. And all you have to do is pop the kyber crystal out. Next, we're going to grab our yellow kyber crystal. Again, only $15. I want to go back and get maybe the white one. Maybe even a red one. I don't know. I think they would just be kind of cool to collect all of them. Yeah. <laughs> so I think eventually I might get all of them. I really want to see like the different sounds that each lightsaber makes. Oh, goodness. This is more complicated than that really should be. It's just sliding around for me. There's like little um, dots that you just need to insert the kyber crystal into. 
and sometimes it can be a little tricky. There it goes. So that's what it does when the kyber crystal is inserted. Now it's yellow, of course, and all we're gonna do is just pop our parts back on super quick. And again, this is super quick. And then it should give you like a little sound if the switch plate is installed correctly, which it does, which means that's good to go. We're gonna screw on our handles. Our emitter, and I'm not recalling what this bottom piece was. It was a cap, I think. <laughs> there we go. Everything's installed, and on the lightsaber, there's little dots that just go in to the blade. You push it in and twist it in, and then you can charge that. Oh yeah, you can tell that one is yellow. I yeah, feel like. Super yellow really cool color and you can totally tell like the difference now the blues are similar mm -hmm. but they're definitely different so her Kylo Ren was different than my blue saber but this one is so distinctively different sounding than this yeah like that one sounds sound. like a gong to me. It's like yeah. gong, you know what I mean? Yeah, it definitely <laughs> does. So I just think they're really cool. Like I said, I want to collect all of them just because I want to see what all of them sound like. I think it's going to be really fun. Um, definitely not going to do it all at once. I'll probably spread out my purchases because I live close to Disney. I can always pick them up. So it's just not going to be too big of a hassle for me. But I would recommend getting a few if that's what you're wanting. Um, just go for it because they're going to be a lot of fun for you. That has been our merch haul. Again, yeah. we had so much fun. Hopefully it gives you guys maybe some ideas of what you want to pick up on your next Disney World trip. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you just enjoyed watching different merchandise from Disney. I know yeah, I do. I, I absolutely do. love watching other YouTubers and different vloggers and their merch hauls because I'm like, oh my gosh, that gives me such a good idea. Like, right. maybe I don't want this one, but I know they have other ones. Mm -hmm. So. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. We will catch you guys tomorrow.